welcome back to my channel all right guys so today i decided i wanted to use a blue and a purple kind of create indigo because i love indigo and i think it's just super super cute and i really haven't done anything like that in my channel so i decided to use it today and i love how it came out i used two palettes from the same brand so if y'all want to see what palettes i use then i guess you just have to finish watching this video also, I was on Instagram the other day, and I was on my explore page, and I saw some girls use, like, a light blue and a light purple together, and I thought that was really cute, kind of like a pastel. So I decided I wanted to use more dark colors, because I love the way dark looks on me for some reason. Like, whenever I use dark red, dark purple, dark blue, I just love how it just makes my eyes so, so like, dramatic. It just looks so dope. So I decided to kind of, like, imitate which was what they did. I really don't remember who it was. I'm sorry. But I wanted to do it my own way, my own twist of things. And I mean, I'm not the only one that created this. I'm pretty sure there's other people out there that tried purples and blues and created the same look. But I did, I'm just saying, like, I saw a pastel and I decided I wanted to just make it a little bit darker. And I just love it. And I just think it's so cute. And this is such a spring look. All right, guys, I'm done chopping it up. So if y'all want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, turn your notifications on so you never miss my videos, add my Instagram, add my TikTok, and thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time. Alright guys, I'm going to start off with my Anastasia primer so I can prime my eyes for some shadows. I'm going to use my Bloodlust palette from the one and only Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with the shade Deviant. I'm using Deviant as my transition shade because this was the only shade in the palette that wasn't too bright or too dark and I just feel like it's so cute and it preps my eyes for the next dark shade. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Blood Queen so this is definitely a very dark purple and it's obviously very noticeable so I'm going to just put that on top of the light purple that I did, the Deviant. I'll put that right on top because I'm trying to get like an ombre effect going on so I just felt like it would be perfect together and they blend it out so smoothly and you just need a good fluffy Morphe brush and you'll be set. Also if you guys think I'm whispering I'm talking too low it's currently 3 in the morning so yeah. Moving on to my next palette, I'm going to go in with my Blue Blood palette, of course, by Jeffree Star. And I'm going to go in with Blue Monday. So this shade is actually indigo. So as I was applying it, it looked indigo, like a little purplish, bluish. But as I'm looking at it right now, it's looking like purple. And I don't know why, but I mean, it still looks nice, but it's just, it's so different. Like in person, it looked more blue. But as I'm watching it, it's just... I don't see blue I just see purple but whatever I feel like it's a nice purple though it's very different it's darker and I just love how it looks together with the other with the light purple that I applied before and what I'm doing is I'm applying it on my lids making sure that it's not patchy enough for both my eyes and then once everything's already set in place I'm gonna start blending everything out so they can look even and they can look beautiful and just like a nice ombre from light to dark now that i'm done with my eyeshadow i'm moving on to some lashes and now my next step will be priming my face so today i'm using my milk hydro grip primer so i'm getting kind of curious and i want to try a new primer and you already know i love my juno and company and i do like my milk but i'm not sure what other primer i should use i don't know if i should go back to tatcha so comment down below and let me know Okay, so for foundation, I'm using my Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Latte 300N only because I'm breaking out. So I break out like once a month, like a really bad and it's always the same spot. So today it's like a really bad skin day for me. So I had to do full coverage. I told you I always use my Huda Beauty whenever I'm breaking out because it gives me full coverage. I use my YSL before and it really didn't cover my blemishes for concealer i'm using my kylie cosmetics in the shade bone and i'm still giving this a go i told y'all before i don't if you guys didn't watch my previous videos i talked about how it kind of like cracked a little bit i didn't really like the formula too much so i'm giving it more tries just so i can give it the benefit of the doubt 
For bronzer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Cream in the shade Macchiato, which is literally the best selling shade because it's always sold out. So if it's always sold out, that means it's popular. So definitely try this out. It's so, so cute. I love how it looks. It's just bomb. So on top of that, I'm going to use my NARS in the shade Laguna just to give it a little bit more bronzy look more warmth in my face and i wouldn't do this before but i just got this for my birthday and i really love how they look together like it just looks so good now for baking powder i'm using my huda beauty baking powder in the shade banana i'm so sorry i didn't show you but i always use the same one i've been talking about how i'm gonna use laura uh, laura mercier and i still haven't bought it so i'm kind of lacking but i'm gonna try to get on that wave and get a new baking powder so i can give y'all a new review a new product that you know that y'all just don't get bored of me using huda beauty all the time i don't know if y'all hear it in my voice but i'm dead as about to fall asleep i'm so exhausted but i really want to put this video out today so that you guys can have new content i promised y'all i was gonna come out with new content and i was gonna do this frequently so i got y'all even if i lose sleep it's cool it's cool all right, now I'm going to go in with the shade Blue Monday, and I'm going to apply that on my waterline just so it can give me a pop of color. All right, to set my face, I'm using my Sephora Micro Smooth Foundation Powder in the shade Sand, and it just sets my face so nicely, so natural, doesn't leave you cakey, it's just so good. Now for blush, I'm using my Tarte blush in the shade Party. I also want to try a new blush out. I don't like any bright pinks. I only like neutral pinks like this one. So if y'all know of any, comment down below and let me know. For highlighter, I'm using my Amory Z highlighter again because, come on, come on. Did y'all not see that? Like, stop playing. Stop playing. Look how beautiful that look. Like, that shit is so bright. It's just, ugh. I could never go wrong with that. For my lips, I'm trying something completely new that I have not done on this channel or in my lips ever. So I'm like using this nice brown. I'm so sorry, but I really don't know from where I got it. I think it's Revlon. And then I'm applying it as like an outer lip. And inside, I'm using my MAC lipstick in the shade Cream to make it look ombre. And look how dope that shit look. Oh my god, I'm so souped how cute it looked. And then on top of that, I'm applying some gloss from ColourPop in the shade Milokani. I'm going to put it in the description below, but look how dope they look. To set my face, I'm going in with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Ultra Fine Mist. And we are done for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe, follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.